Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Kat, the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, this is a channel for resellers. Today I am going to show what sold on eBay and also let you guys know what I'm doing since eBay sales are so slow. The last three days have been very slow for us, uh, about half of what our normal is. So I'll tell you what I'm doing in hopes of fixing that. So I am going to interject before we show you guys the sales. I'm going to flip you around because I didn't do the contest that I was supposed to do on Monday. So we will do two drawings and the first person will have their choice of mug or tote bag and the second person can have a choice if the first doesn't get what they want. So I have two tote bags and I only have one mug. So. Let's flip it around and see who won the contest. Sorry for the delay, guys. All right, sorry about the flashing, guys. So this is the video where I said I would give away a tote or a mug. So we will copy that link. And then we're gonna go to YouTube Random Comment Picker. We will filter to duplicate users, but we I didn't say anything specific. So we're gonna put Get YouTube Comments. So there are 41 comments and we're going to start the raffle and pick a winner. I did only say one, but since I'm so late, we are going to go ahead and pick two. So let's start. So Sweden Hedenberg, I'm with you on the wigs, touching them. Ooh, um, through your video tonight, I keep thinking how much there is for you and your hubby to photo list and organize so you can find it when it sells. I would be overwhelmed, but in a good way. I had to step out the last 10 minutes, came back and watched, um, saying that Dalton cracked her up. Really great deal on the haul. Um, think you will make lots on it. Love the green plush gator. So Sweden, you are the first winner. So you will have your choice if you get a tote bag or a mug. And then let's pick one more winner. So if Sweden picks a mug, you're going to have to get a tote bag. And if Sweden picks a tote bag, you can have your choice, the second winner. So let's see who the second winner is. The second winner is Treasure Retriever. I liked your son the best and the Italian poles were nice too. So Treasure Retriever, if you are okay with the tote bag we can do that if you'd rather the mug i can let you know so if you guys want to send me a message on instagram with your information sweden and treasure retriever and i will get your gifts out to you so thank you guys so much for entering all right guys so we do have 198 dollars and 98 cents going out over on ebay and we have 50 dollars going out over on poshmark so let me show you guys first what is going out on eBay. So this plate is a really pretty plate. I did get this at an estate auction. Um, I paid less than a dollar. I do have four of them. This is Dolly Varden Black Knight. So this is a square dessert plate and this one sold for $17.49 plus shipping. The buyer is actually $35 in on the one plate. So definitely check your plates and I still have three left and this is more than paid for the whole box that those plates were in. Up next are these presidential coins. Sorry about that. Let me show you guys this. So they were released by year and these are from 2014. So when I initially bought these, I bought a case that had minted rolls inside of the case. And I decided instead of waiting for one big sale, I would break them down and offer them in individual sets. And then I also broke it down even further and offered them in yearly sets, which was $4 coins per year. So these sold for $10.52. They paid $14.47 with shipping. So when I got these, I didn't have much of a risk when I got them. I had $500 in face value that if I went to the bank, I could have turned that in. 
and I paid five fifty. So I have made my money back and like these are four dollar face value and the buyer paid fifteen dollars. So almost four times the value. We're making about three times our money on that. Up next, and this one has not been listed very long. This is a made in California. It's a little tulip planner. It says number 303 there. And this is just a little planner, no hole. And I described it just tulip. I put California. I put the number and that it was a planter. And I did list it as mid-century modern. It hasn't even been listed a week. I paid less than a dollar for that. It sold for $15 and 39 cents plus shipping the buyer is 28 dollars and 22 cents all in on that up next and i think we have one left now i did get these for the thrift 30 challenge they are black and decker lids off they are a little machine that helps open jars if people are unable to get them open i paid three dollars for that and it sold for 16 dollars and 19 cents plus shipping and then up last on eBay is actually an item off of our Macy's bedding palette. This is Madison Park. It's a white coverlet and it also comes with two pillowcases. It is king size. So I have about $15 into this. It did sell for 50 plus shipping. I believe the buyer's about $85 all in on that. And then over on Mercari, I do have this Starbucks mug. I did get these um, back at Christmas time and honestly probably shouldn't have. So I paid retail for it, which was $19. And I thought these would sell and they, I have, I think I'm down to only four left. I did have quite a few, but I sold that one for 34. And then after Mercari's fees, I'll get about 30. So I will make about $10. And that buyer did try to offer me 25 and I declined because I didn't want to break even. I want to make at least a little bit. So I told them that my asking price was the lowest I really wanted to go because it did have free shipping and they just bought it. So sometimes sticking to your price can work if you let them know, like I told her after fees and shipping, I'm not hardly making anything, so I really don't wanna go down any further. And she said, okay, and bought it. And then oh, also over on Mercari, and I paid less than a dollar for this little, this is an amber hobnail. It can be like a little ashtray or a votive holder. So I paid less than a dollar and it sold for $12 over on Mercari. And I don't sell much glass over on Mercari, but that piece um, hasn't been listed but for a few weeks. So I did go to Goodwill yesterday and I'm trying if I'm doing new thrift hauls to at least list that stuff. So I listed 24 items this morning. I think when your eBay sales are slow, it's very important to keep listing and probably list more than you normally would because you kind of want to get that activity up on your eBay account. So hopefully listing that stuff helps. I'm going to show you guys a quick clip of everything. It is already out in the shed and put up. And I think I might have like two or three more things from Goodwill that I haven't listed yet. And we are going to my daughter's graduation tonight. Hopefully it doesn't rain. So I'm going to show you guys this clip and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick and you'll see the goodwill footage but i got all of this stuff at goodwill yesterday a lot of plush um this one here this kangaroo joey is actually worth quite a bit some clothes so all of that and then all of this stuff as well um some plates there's some cool a cool cookie jar soup tureen some ceramic turkeys so i listed all of this this morning 25 listings so not too shabby mommy's coming with you can you go so fast go 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 super speed Oh, look, that kitty came with you. Did your kitty come with you?